What up, everyone? MCI ADP Studios, Jay Ingersoll here with Chilla Pratilla. Chilla B, Chilla P. What's up, man? What's up, dog? What it do, bro? Not much, man. Thanks for coming through. I really appreciate that. Appreciate you for having me. Yeah, hell yeah. Straight up. So, uh, Chilla and I kind of met like a year ago, so I'll clear the air on the podcast, too. We officially met a year ago. And you heard me talk about the on the first episode of the podcast about how we had a guy do some videos for us. We were doing interviews with people, and I just wanted to talk to people, learn from people, kind of the purpose of this podcast. And I had Chilla. And that's kind of when the dude vamped out. So, sorry about that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, uh, you're probably like, what the hell? What happened? But it was all good. It was cool hanging out. So, you know, we got to know him. And then uh, uh, Chilla had me on the radio the other day. So, we'll talk a little bit uh, about that, like last week or something. So, we'll talk a little bit about the show. But the podcast is all about educating, inspiring so I try to have guests on that can bring value to, you know, the community of creators. So Chilla is that guy, right? So he's done all aspects of the music, the video. He's an entrepreneur. He has businesses going. We'll talk to him a little bit about that as well. But I just want to say, bro, you inspire me. And I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. So I just see you grinding out there. I see you doing what, you know, somebody does. Like, you probably like a guy like that says, you know, fuck the nine to five. I'm going to make it my way. And it takes a special kind of talent. So thanks for inspiring me. So that's why I wanted to have you on the show, bro. So, so, so appreciate being here. Hell yeah. All right. So moving along, we are, I would just like to know a little about, about you, man. Just tell the audience about your backstory, how you got into music, and then... Then we'll talk about maybe the transition into the video stuff, and we'll go from there. All right. Um, first of all, I probably say music. It ain't. Um, I ain't get into it. Most of these cats, or just got up and said I want to be a rapper or <coughs> something like that. I've just always been. I've been into it my whole life. You know what I'm saying? I think the first raps I heard was like. Sugar Hill Gang, you know, like our, our family house had burned down and we stayed in the in the downtowner, you know what I'm saying, downtown Muskegon. I think it's what what I'm um, Houston Towers apartment cell or whatever now. And uh, my cousin used to have me saying hotel, motel, holiday, and you know what I'm saying all yeah. that. And then I started doing my own rhyme. So when I grew up, like by elementary school, I'm rocking. When I when I walk into the hoop games, the basketball games, they're like, hey. Hey, little dude, come here, come here. Because they beating on the bleachers with, with the brushes and they and they doing the chants, and I'm up there rapping, a young dude. So I ain't just start rapping. My whole life, I always been like chosen. Muskegon, I've been that rapper. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't right. just, hey, call me Chili C. Yeah. <laughs> uh, call me Chill. No, yeah. I've been that. That's yeah. just who I am, bro. So, and you know, and that just, that's how I came up personally. So, you know, and I've been around for, for a while, though. And then as I got older, you know, came downtown or whatever. It's kind of like, basically, even my name, people don't just call you Billy. Like, you know, they, they, they stop calling Billy, they call you Bill. So they stop calling me Chili, they just call me Chill. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like that, but, you know, i just been around, man, doing all the shows, concerts, talent shows, winning them, of course, battling, opening up for all the, you know, doing shows at the LC Walk Arena, just, you know, I've just been doing music my whole life, so as like a natural progression. By the time I got about 18, 19, I'm already on some, like, I'm on my own label. You know, that was kind of like the new thing, like like my cousin, he 40, um, you know, you know, you seeing like Ruthless Records and, mm -hmm. and, and Rap A Lot, and it was yep. kind of like, I want to have my own label. And yep. that's kind of what, that does seem to be what got me on the, on the path. And I so, and, and in doing that, and all my friends around me, I started doing that more than I was rapping, you know. So I started running the label, which, by the way, has always been Emag Records, which is game spelled backwards. Okay. It ain't G A M E. It's E M A G. You there know you what I'm saying? Because too many people shady. But nah. <laughs> but you know, it always been Emag Record. I've been on the same brand. 
I stand on that. You know what I mean? It's tatted all along me. Everywhere, you know, it's just EMAG. But I don't know, man. So, so that's where a lot of people know me from, just always being doing stuff and then, you know, getting put on major projects. Like I say, E-40, my cousin, put me on projects, me grinding around the state doing everything. Like er everything smoking, I was on that. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. You know, that, that's just really what the the music is. I can't, I mean, it's just like, that's just what I do. You know, I say I do music most of my life. I've been an MC. I've been an artist, you know, just. So what, so what, You're but you're mostly video now, right? So what kind of, uh, you know, well, sparked that transition well, to. Well, first, so like, by me having my own label and stuff, right? So, naturally, I had, I had like 11 acts, like the whole Muskegon. So I got to do covers, albums, and I'm like, eh, eh, eh. so I just started, you know what I'm saying? Slowly, I, I used to do, I'm more of a graphic artist, you okay. know what I mean? But, like, so, web design, logos, covers, I mean, I go crazy on that, but it's just like, so me, I'm definitely not just a videographer. I do whatever I want to do, bro, whatever I put my mind to. Graphics don't pay a lot, so right. And there's a lot. Don't of do those. a lot of graphics in hip hop. Same thing with with, with video. People just don't really want to pay, and count me out. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I mean, well, you've been doing it for so long, and, and you're very, very good at it. Yeah, so, I mean, I mean and then know. it was a, it was at a point where like I think everybody forget Muskegon ain't had nobody doing no quality videos. So yeah, y'all welcome, but. I mean, you know, like I, I think what the seventeen, I did, did like a hundred and twenty videos. Damn. I mean, I banged out for these boys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's it's all it's all good though. Like now, y'all want to keep getting cheap videos? And I'm cool with that. Y'all just have to get that elsewhere. I'm gonna stick to doing what I do, high quality. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. Yeah. So no, I don't. I don't really just. It ain't just videos. I mean, even like on the promotion. I mean, last time I messed with the music. I did like four mixtapes in about, I don't know, four months, six, I don't know. MKG one, two, three, through four. Like, all of them was groundbreaking with all them skiing artists. Right. Them, you know, yep, so I'm it's familiar like, with those for sure. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. I just do, I do all type of stuff, though. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, videos are just probably what people most into or they most see. You know what I'm saying? But like my portfolio is really wide. So mm -hmm. that's just probably a small slice video production. Yeah. For me. You know what yeah. I mean though? But that's probably what the public see the most. No, or certain yeah, parts no, of the yeah. public. You know, Because you're doing a lot of videos and they're sharing their stuff and you're sharing your stuff. And you built a pretty good platform on YouTube. So a lot of, I feel like a lot of the artists want you to post their shit on your yeah, stuff so yeah, they can definitely. get the, the traffic. I've noticed definitely. that because that's kind of one of the perks of doing videos with you is yeah. you kind of already got that audience and people that are fucking with you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so, so I mean like yeah. from rapping or whatever I do, I always, like I said, I kept the same platform. So yeah, I got a, I got a, a pretty much nice following on a lot of different platforms. So that yeah. definitely be the... It definitely helps with the networking and everything that you do do, so... Definitely. Um, yeah, so let's talk about what you're doing right now because I know you're branching out. I also know I would like to talk a little bit about the documentary. I'm sure we'll get to that because yeah. that's, that's really a huge part of why I wanted to have you on the show. So oh, yeah, definitely. About that. Definitely. Because um, I think that's very important. So, but <coughs> um, in the meantime, you know, Kerner, what you doing? Tell me a little way about the, the Segway biz and uh, tell me. Uh, Tell them a little bit about the radio, because obviously we've gotten the impression that, man, we know you're skilled and you got your hands in a lot of things, but what you working on right now? Uh, definitely. So, um, so yeah, as, as well as content creating, um, I run um, Seaway Tours, which is a company I created a few years ago. We launched in um, 2018, uh, going into our third year a business then what what it is is I mean it's a uh, micro mobility company for all y'all that know so we specialize in like the, the the last mile transportation so what that is is like I mean it's like to make a long story short your segways your scooters all your public fast quick electronic transportation so what I do here in Muskegon is so we offer mini segways and electric scooters 
okay. and e-bikes. So um, so we just rent them out, man. We we offer tours and stuff, you know. Kids come down, ride them, have all kind of fun. I mean, it's great for, like, corporate group building, um, just events in general, though, you know. And it's just, just a great way to get out and enjoy the summer Lake Michigan, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so, I've yeah. I've seen that out. Oh. That's definitely something I've seen, and I was like, man, I want to, I want to do that. But that's got to be a great attraction for people coming in. Yeah, so lake, like being able to cruise around down there. Definitely. Um, and Muskegon is getting a lot of tourism, so I think like in in eighteen, let's say we had maybe six to eight cruise ships come in. This year, nineteen, we had like more like twenty cruise ships. Oh, okay. I mean, you, you be downtown, you see the big big ship come in. So, mm -hmm. so I've had riders from. Italy, Greece, oh, Brazil, nice. so, <laughs> you know, because, I mean, that's a, it's actually a normal thing. Like, when I go out to Cali, whatever, we, we go and ride the Segways or oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, so people come from out of town and they want to they wanna ride the Segways, the e-bikes, cruise around town. So, you know, they look us up. So it's definitely a good service. It's going pretty good, though. Yeah, you man, know? I see that yeah. more and more. Uh, what What is the thing you're sharing right now? Let me know about that so we can tell them. Uh, um, vote for you. When does that end? What it's is a five-by-five five contest. So what it is, it's, it's five judges. Um, you got five minutes, five slots. It's going to be five contestants, and you got to basically, like, pitch and you and the and the prize is five thousand dollars and it helps you know fund the uh, company or whatever though so yeah it's a, it's a pretty um it's a great competition that that, that they offer and the, the kickers they offer it every month so the the particular one I'm in it's January twenty eighth um so yeah you so know we're trying time. to yeah nice. trying this to will win be that up money too. so yeah this will be out long before that so yep so y'all definitely out. vote for us you know yeah. we're trying to get some new vehicles for downtown Muskegon Muskegon in general because we we definitely mobile with it so yeah check us out vote appreciate yeah. it so um radio let's talk a little bit about that I did I I alluded to you having me on your show definitely uh, one hundred three point seven right yep. so I was up there got the privilege to answer some questions, maybe give out a little of my own EMAC, my own game out right. there. You know For what sure. I'm saying? <laughs> sure. yeah. So it, it was a good time. Always good chilling and talking to you, and uh, I appreciate that. So tell me about that. What's going on with oh, that? Yeah, and what definitely. you trying to I do mean, with first that off, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Yeah. You know sure. what I'm saying? Spend a little time with us. But um, So what it is, uh, the, the, the uh, show I'm doing right now is called Independent Mondays. So we showcase all independent artists, but not just artists. I mean, you know, Independent small business owners, I mean, public figures, like, you know, anybody who want to just come and address Muskegon and just, like, give some insight on, on what it's like to, 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 you know, just run a business and just take care of business, you know, so so that's what it is. And, um, I don't know, I guess, you know, the show, they've been, I mean, the, the radio been asked me to do it for a while, though, you know, like I said, I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm also... Um, you know, I raised my three sons, so that's right. like my top priority. You know, mm -hmm. so I don't even put that in there a lot. But um, you know, it was it's all about timing, though. You know, so I just felt like you know the time is right. You know, what I'm saying I try to contribute and give back to the community in that fashion. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's pretty cool though. It's just definitely gonna be a cool experience. I'm looking forward to it. So all 2020, you know, we're gonna try to do a lot of big things. So if you're interested in Coming on the show, you know. Get at you. Get at me. Um, and then also submitting your music. You're playing local artist music on there, correct? That's definitely, what, yep. So that's kind of the platform, um, Independent Monies is called, right? Yep, you know, 3.7, yep. it comes on at when? It comes on on Mondays from 8 to 11. 8 to 11, okay. Yep. So check that out. Um, they also got a podcast, so can you listen to old episodes and stuff on that shit like definitely, that? Yep, right, definitely, yeah, definitely. There's an uh, app, streaming app. Uh, it's, it's pretty dope, pretty dope. dope. Yep. So check that out, and uh, artists, if you're watching this, please uh, send Chilla music. But it goes on the radio. What the yep. fuck? Like it's on the fucking. You know radio, it gotta be so clean. Censor the man. shit. <laughs> gotta Beat be the clean. shit out because if then, you need help cleaning I mean, it up, man, that just makes you kind of holler at me, man. I help y'all. I help y'all get it together, <laughs> right, man. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. it gotta yeah. be clean, man. It, it's not a problem to do that. Holler at me, shit. We'll we'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, just make sure it's clean. Definitely, man. You know? Part of the process, guy. Right. Um, all right, dope, man. So 
let's uh let's talk about the documentary let's right. talk about that you just went through a course to kind of help you brush up on your skills that's yeah, another man. reason why you inspired me because i do the same thing yeah work my way through courses try to learn new things you know always yep. taking tutorials it's always a lesson but um yeah let's hear about the documentary man i i, I would really like to know more i've seen the page i kind of know about it but i'd like to hear yep. what you got to say okay well the documentary is must keep our sons and what it is is um a lot of people may or may not know, but the, um, you know, one, one of the names in the streets for Muskegon is "Must Keep a Gun," so that's something that's kind of relevant for all the young people. And I'm like, man, we kind of gotta, you know, we kind of gotta counter that, and really more to, to the point, Muskegon is having like a rash of young young people dying, mm -hmm. you know, from violent crimes, you know, from from you know, like senseless murders and stuff. Yeah. So. So the, the documentary is definitely like my perspective, my take on that, you know, just my efforts as me having having the father of three boys. My my oldest son is eleven, so you know I'm like I'm scared to death yeah. in five years, you right? Know, three, yeah. you know. So it's kind of like you know this is this is what I'm gonna do about it, you know. That's what this documentary is. You know, it's must keep our sons because I got to keep my boys. I'm not yeah. losing my boys. Yeah. To, to that that hits home. That's a great why to do a project like this. So what is this project kind of like, uh, what did you have in mind for the project? Like what, um, what is it involved in? And so, what is it? Is, is it a documentary about <coughs> Muskegon? And, you know. Yep. It's definitely a documentary about, about Muskegon. Um, kind of revolves around um the younger guys who lost their lives in Muskegon, it's like their family, um, friends. I mean, we definitely got some interviews, but it's not really just a, you know, a talking head style documentary by far, you know. So, you know, it's it's um kind of in depth, but, you know, definitely taking a real look at, you know, what really, what happens in Muskegon. And, and, and then at the same time, trying to address, you know, some of the things that we can do to prevent some of this, some of the things that just help community building, you know, just in even ways for, like, you know, the young kids to even deal with, with they, you, you know, the stress and, yeah. the, and, the, and the trauma from having to deal with Because, you know, I grew up in Muskegon, and we never had to really, like, nobody died. Yeah. Nobody got killed when, yeah. I, when I was going to school. For these kids, it's like a all too well reality that's yeah. all they know it's crazy so yeah so we just take a look at a lot of stuff and at the same time try to keep it entertaining you know what i mean you know so when i say that i mean not funny jokish but right. not a slow pace just yeah. interview people crying we, yeah you know what I'm the, yeah the yeah, it, yeah. It, it, like it'll be a little too too much yeah know? yeah it so definitely we, highlight some of the yeah the community so I that's, mean, it's, it's that's gonna, good it's yeah. gonna be a hard one but yeah yeah but it, but it's gonna be a, it's a nice documentary though so where you at right now you're storyboarding it yes, getting definitely. getting the yep. contacts together getting yep. the network together to kind definitely. of put this film together and even um putting it together just compiling the list that was like a, that was a hard blow yeah. it's, it's a lot of people um especially for a small community like ours to even have that list is, is is a lot of numbers on that list. So, you know, that that right there is even I had to like step back and even and even get my head together on even how to tackle such a how project. to process that. Yeah. As we talk about this documentary, do you have a timeline on what on what you're thinking or is it just something you're gonna build on and, and you know gain um, momentum for and No, I I would probably say it's about a it's about a four month project and I and I really only say that because just scheduling the, the interviews and the families and uh -huh. just making sure everybody got enough time and that we get enough of the people in so you know and then you know giving with, with, with editing time so so we definitely spring of 2020 you okay know? yeah you got a team of guys working with you on different stuff um, sometimes because yeah. yeah. I, I, I I've seen you at video shoots and different stuff and I've seen you had a couple Couple guys that help you out usually. Yeah, definitely though. My shooters, nah. Yeah. That's one of the uh hashtags that I use a lot, um, with the shooters. But um, yeah, I got I got my partner, LaRue Layden. You know what I'm saying? He does he does a lot of work on the uh, videos, um, shooting, setup. Um uh my partner, he also does the scooters 
with me. That's my partner on that as well. Um, I got a partner by the name of um, Leland Wyrett, film page, live, um, do a lot of our web creation, our, um, a lot of our crowdfunding, you know, that's important too, you know, you start doing these projects, you got to get them funded, but, um, so I got a few partners, um, Antonio Stubbs, um, he works with me on the cameras as well as editing, and I mean, above all, when you're doing these projects, you got to kind of have people to be able to bounce ideas off of, mm -hmm. you want to have colleagues that you can just even, you know, discuss experiences, talk about gear, talk about industry trends and, and stuff like that. Right. So, yeah, definitely. So it may look like, yeah, chill a one-man army, but I'm definitely not. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But you've also had to work really hard to get there where you got partners and people oh, that definitely. you can see in the like-minded light to be able to help with your vision. Definitely. Or, you know, I'm sure it's part of their vision as well. You know, definitely. But that's, uh, yep. that, that's a whole different scenario right there. You know? Yeah, so. yeah. All right, so we kind of talked about the documentary. Most of the guests that I have on the podcast, uh, I like to ask for the young artists, we'll say creators, video makers. We were kind of talking about some things out in the car that I thought were interesting when we were speaking when you was coming up um, about the too much syndrome. So yeah. maybe we could dive into that. But what advice would you give somebody uh, just kind of getting started? Because you, you got a lot of years in the game. I got some years in the game. And we all know it's consistency and time. You know, I preach consistency every podcast. But for you, your perspective, bro, and all the things you've seen, because you've dabbled into music, you've shot so many artists, so you've seen trends. What would advice would you give to some guys, you know, getting going and trying to get to the next level as an artist or creator of any sort? All right, well, um, this song right here is kind of key with me, and I, it don't just apply to music or entertainment. It's applied to life in general. So, and it, I mean, it really comes from experience and just living life. So, if you're the type of person that you you get to a certain notoriety or level in whatever it is you do, whether it's the streets, whether it's music or whatever, right? So, people like to put people against each other. So, you always gonna have people that say, "Hey, company A, guy A, team A." They said this. So, listen, a word to the wise. Anybody that got that much energy to come tell you what the next person said or uh, you got to just take that with a grain of salt. Me, I'm the type of person asking, well, what did you say? But what I'm trying to tell you, the thing not to, to do is, well, forget company B, forget person A, forget about them. That's like all that stuff is, is just really, really trife. So you really want to just take the high road on, on like whatever you do. You know what I mean? You got to be smart enough to understand that that's what goes on. You got to kind of read between the lies. You got to see in between all the BS. You know what I mean? Because yeah. if you don't, man, that's how a lot of people fall. It's like they mind playing tricks on them. You know what I mean? People always talking, man. People always saying this or that. You you just kind of got to focus on what you got going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. And not be influenced by all the BS. You know what I mean? It's like that man ain't say that to me. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't take it no kind of way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, and and it's like that with with, with business, man. It's just yeah. it's, it's 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 really terrible how people. Conduct themselves, you know what I mean. They just—I don't know, man. It's just about you. Really got to conduct business to really do business. You know what I mean. Yeah. You just can't really be influenced with none of the gossip or none of the try stuff going on, man. Right. So okay. That makes sense. Yeah, that, that's really some I, I really want to stress to whoever. You know yeah, what I mean? and I feel like I wouldn't get involved with anybody like that anyway because you already know that's how it is, but just a rule in life man you, you really can't put a lot of stock into what other people think about you like you really can't because that will hinder everything you ever do if you really give a shit because at the end of the day you're the one laying in the casket bro right. Definitely. ain't nobody <laughs> gotta lay next to you shit you know what i'm saying For real, man. <laughs> it's fucking you in there you came in and you going out so who the fuck cares what anybody else thinks that that's just the way i've been living lately too like you gotta and then if you hear it you see a comment, something negative, man, just shut it down. Does that have anything to do with you creating what you're trying to do? You know, does right. that have anything to do? That No, that just brings negative shit towards me, you right. know? So Definitely, I man. feel that, man. 
Yeah. So you're just kind of saying, watch out for the BS. Stay yeah. away from the snakes. Yeah, uh, stay, stay above that, man. Conduct Don't, business properly. Like, like, like my mom used to say, all that he say, she say, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Stay away from that. Do what you got to do. Don't be holding all these little grudges, man. Don't be worried about the next man. Just do what you do. Try to do it nobly and humbly. Come right. on, man. They can't stop that. Yeah. You know, you keep your head up. Don't worry about none of that, man. Half of it probably might not even be true what somebody said. Come on, yeah. now. You got to be better than that, man. And then there's always the game of telephone, too. You ever right. seen that? You know what that is, where somebody says something, and yeah. then by the time it's four people Man. later, something yeah. completely fucked up different? Yeah. You know, so that's some other that, shit, too. A, like, I think that's an awesome game, because it yeah. really demonstrates how life works, though. <laughs> right. But, like, that's why you can't take a lot of stock in that unless right. that person tells you. You know. Definitely. Then we also live in the world of the keyboard warrior that'll never tell you, but they can right. say <laughs> some shit. <laughs> so fucking type it, but they won't say shit when they see you, but... I understand. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So that's some uh I felt like it was more to that question though, was it? Oh, but we were t- also talking about uh what we had talked about before uh-huh. about not overcomplicating things and right. overdoing it and shit. Right. So that was kind of the second part. Like yeah. if you want to so elaborate like, on that, because that's so probably like, another point that you're saying, right? So like um and 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 that also applies to life or whatever. Like, you know, so like I mean Man, listen, you get that when you when you get that range rover, you like, man, yeah, I like this range, but you know what? Man, that Benz truck, oh man, it was freaking you get that Benz truck, you're gonna like it for like that first year and that second year, you're gonna be like, Man, but did you see Lamborghini got a new SUV? <laughs> and I mean, and that's yeah. just how life works. So like, yeah. you know, I mean, I done, I I done, I done had like the addictions on so many levels. I used to go out and just get like all the computer mags, computer mm. music mags, and just yeah. I know there's one VST on there. There's 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 one magic instrument that's gonna just change my whole production style. I'm gonna be the best. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when I get my hands on Pro Tools, or, yeah. yeah. When I get that Wave package, man. Or when I get NPC, it's always like so. I, I call it the magic box, and people can spend a lifetime looking for that magic box, and you can feel like. Like, like if you're in the video, that that red camera. I'm not gonna until I get that red camera. You can make all the excuses, all the excuses not to get it, or why you can't. That's the only only reason I'm not there is because I don't have that magic yeah, box. That's, yeah, on, that's man. an excuse. That's just a fucking excuse. Yeah. And that's what I I've been preaching since day one, and that's my my point on it too. You'll never fucking get started if man. you're always waiting for the perfect moment to get started. It's a progression. Man. It's a grind, bro. With the like, magic box <laughs> is, is in. This is the magic box. Yeah. Right here. That's yeah. the magic box. Like, man, on the video side, I done shot footage as crispy clear with, with like a Canon Rebel 2Ti as as I done shot with anything. You know what I mean? Right. It's just all about doing the work. You how know you, what I mean? It's how you use it. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, like I was uh, also commenting on i heard on another podcast someone was saying it about just like you'll never be satisfied and then you'll just be overwhelmed it just gives you more choices it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be better it just gives you more things to be confused by right so you should be able to just focus on a few things and comp you know make it simple because master those techniques yeah somebody before you has made something amazing with probably less definitely so always keep that perspective in mind right. you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> you know so it, i agree it's about getting your skills figuring out whatever it may be your lighting your mixing definitely like like really rapping. figuring out how to use those tools and not just getting more tools to, to yeah. complicate it you know what i mean it's like yeah, everybody gonna go out and yeah you know what man i'm gonna I'm gonna get my gimbal. I'm gonna buy me a drone. It's like everything that you do has a learning curve. Mm-hmm. So, do you really want to just pile all that stuff on top of each other? And I'm not saying don't do it. Yeah. Because by all means, if you can jump in, you yeah. know what I'm saying. It might make you better for it, but you don't have to wait until you get this or just because you don't have this. You can have like you'd be surprised. Any kind of lighting that that you have will work you yeah, know, if for you sure. use it correctly. Yep. Or you just got to work around your limitations and sometimes that forces you to be more creative yep. than having every tool that you're doing. The nice thing is, too, it lets you try new things with what you have, and then you can learn it a lot better by making mistakes. You Definitely. know, I'm not going to do that next time. You know, even with Definitely. this podcast, I fucked up so many different things. Out of focus, whatever. And I'm only seven episodes in. So oh, yeah, definitely. I, but I look back at old videos I love and it. cringe. Like, yeah. yeah. 
But uh, with anything in life, man, that fucking rainy day, that shitty time in your life is what made you the person you are, you yeah. know? So same thing with being a creator, you know, all yep. those times of learning as long as you keep going, stay grinding, and, and as long as you use it as a lesson and don't give right. up. I know? mean, you can't be great without the mistakes, man. Yep. It just, it just don't happen, like... So you either gonna be scared to make the mistakes, or I'm the kind of person like, yeah, let's hurry up and get these out the way, cause I got, I got to get to it. I gotta, come on, let me, let me fall down this ten times real quick. Yeah. So I can stand up good now. So that's just the attitude you gotta have, you know. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of times people are afraid of being rejected before yeah. they even put something out. So it's like, would you rather? be the artist that actually does put something out and maybe somebody rejects but they, at least you put it out and somebody knows or would you just be rather the guy that never put anything out right i'd rather go with my grave and say fucking at least i fucking tried to put some shit out and get better at it. definitely <laughs> you know that's my mentality so my all right man uh i appreciate that uh so What's next for you? What you know? What are you working on? You talked about the you know we talked about the radio going on in 2020. You know we talked about that. Uh, it is uh, Seaway Tours. Yep, Seaway uh, Tours. So we got that going on in the summertime, obviously, yep. right? Yep, definitely. Uh, that's where is that at? It's down. I know where it's at, but why don't you say just um, downtown Muskegon? It's actually at 200 Viridian Drive. Okay, which is behind the Shoreline Inn, so it's uh, connected. Right on the um, Lakeshore Trail, you can either uh, go up north, you know, past the old car plant, the uh, causeway, beautiful trail scenery, or you can, um, you know, you can head the other way, you know, on the Lake Michigan route, and it's so beautiful. So we we got that going on in the summertime, Seaway Tours. Um, uh, right now, you know, I'm definitely, you know, I got Emag Media, so we always been doing beautiful weddings, events, you know, we cover... Uh, you know any kind of parties and and events, and um so e Emac Films. I'm actually more. I'm, I'm doing a lot of docs these days. Okay. So of course I, I got the Must Keep Our Sons. Um, I I got one exclusively. I'm doing on the artist Carl Carter. So he's a Muskegon artist, and um he's actually touring right now. I've uh, covered quite a few of his shows, and we got a, quite a few in 2020. So. I mean, he's just a phenomenal artist. I mean, his 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 work is is just like none other. So, nice. just kind of been documenting his his lives and you know, cause he he didn't he's not the traditional artist who went to art school and da 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 da. da yeah, you yeah. know, he's just kind of a you know self taught kind of guy, but he has a really interesting story. So I'm um, doing that documentary. Um, we're working a, um, a lot with Phil. In, in yep. bars. Okay, yeah. They're, they're, they're doing the documentary. So, you know, I'm just, um, I got another documentary in the works called Small Change. Okay. So it's kind of about um, panhandling. Okay. You know, in Michigan. So, you know, because at first it used to be illegal and they made it legal. So, you know, you, you see a, a, a rise a rise in that. So, you know, it's, it's called Small Change. And uh, that's basically it, man. I'm just gearing up for 2020, man. We're trying to bring the world a lot of high quality content. You know, yeah. you know, trying to um, just raise the bar for uh, West Michigan in, in total, man, and just contribute some good work, you know. Nice, man. Yep. And I, I definitely believe you're going to do that because you definitely do good work, man. Appreciate so that's it, awesome. man. Appreciate it. Um, before we close this thing out, is there anything else that you would like to say? Is there anything on your, your mind or anything that you want to clear the air, anything that you would like to, you know? Put out there, uh, you know, coming nah. into the new year, resolutions. No, I nah. don't have any. No, nah, I, I grind really, every day. Yeah, every every day <laughs> it's like, fuck it. You know, I'm trying yeah. to I'm trying to get it every day, like you know. So no, nah, man, I just would just like to, you know, just tell people to keep their head up. You know, and just you know, really stay focused, man. And like, it, it ain't really nothing you can't do. I think like like you touched upon it earlier, like. I mean, like me, man. My my story is all jacked up, but the the point is, if I wanna learn how to run a record label, I'm gonna go educate myself first, and then I'm gonna run a record label. If I wanna do graphics, I'm gonna go educate myself, and then I'm gonna do graphics. If I wanna shoot videos, I'm gonna go educate myself. If I wanna do a documentary, I'm gonna go and teach myself first how to do a documentary. That's what makes me bold enough to say I can do that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna make sure I do my homework first. 
educate myself, and then I'm going to make it happen. So, you know what I'm saying? I just would advise y'all to do the same. But you don't got to go to college. You know what I'm saying? I did some college, you know. It was a cool experience. But you can teach. I taught myself far more. Actually, when I got to college, bro, same books um, that I had in, in class were the same books that I went to Barnes and & Noble and, and purchased and learned different tasks. And these are the same books that I, I would have in college. Yeah, yeah, right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, you can't be self-taught. So that's all I, I just tell people. Just get out there and just... Shoot for the stars, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and but but take it seriously though. Don't just throw rocks at it. Like really, roll your sleeves up and make a go at it. And I mean that could be an hour a day, man. Yeah. And that, and that hour might turn into four, but that's yeah. cool. You got four hours, but I mean right now just that hour a day, man. I guarantee you. You know what I'm saying? You spend an hour a day at something, man. Yeah. You know, even if it's next year. You know what I'm saying? It'll be something. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I, and I always say that, you know, every small step, as long as you're working on it each day, like, you can't never look at anything and in, in not understand that it does take 10,000 hours to master something. So if you don't even got that concept down, like, if you're in six months and you're not satisfied, well, you haven't failed enough like we talked about. Right. But, like, have you even put the time in? It does take 10,000 hours to get fucking really good man, at something. Man. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it, yeah. But that's cool, man. That's good advice. I, yeah. I agree. Going into 2020, and like I said, I ain't, I'll declare now. This will come out before the new year, probably right before. But I ain't got no res resolutions. No, uh, just keep grinding because every I already, day I, I'm like trying to smash my goals every day. I know you the same way. So, um, super dope. Social media. What is it? Uh, what um, you got? Where we can we hit you up? Uh, every, how can people contact you? Everything is at Chilla Fratilla on all platforms. Just That's it needs type to be. in Chilla Fratilla, you won't miss me. I mean, yeah. Google me. I mean, um, if you want to email me, I mean, the simplest one is emagfilms at gmail dot com. You know what I'm saying? You want to hit me a line, drop me some music, whatever. You know. So, I mean, that's basically it, man. I'm like definitely visible social media. You know, I talk back, I respond. You know what I mean? So just. Pop at me, man. Let's get it yeah. popping. All right, dope. Oh, uh, and real quick, actually, I would like to speak on one more thing, and I just will throw this in here real quick. It, you touched on it, and I actually did. I just want to bring it back a little bit. The bars, because I did have Phil on, and it was this project that's going all month long. Yeah, a lot of dope. artists are actually getting in there. I was in there. I see you was in there. Yeah, uh, same night. Uh, that Thursday for the producer night, but yeah, awesome Phil was night. on the po Phil was on the podcast. Yeah, we talked about that. So you got a lot of involvement with that. Then I see, right? So yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm working with Phil. You know what I mean? So just, just uh, camera editing, helping yeah, him get it yeah, going. Just with whatever is needed, and and that was the you know the concept of it. Just everybody in West Michigan, Muskegon, just trying to come together and just bring whatever talents you have to the table and let's try to make something, you know, just yeah. make some high quality. So, yeah, so that's, you know what I'm saying? My role ain't no bigger than nobody else's by far. I'm just, you know, one one of the guys helping out. But um, but definitely I got a lot of faith in the project, you know, a lot of support for it. So that's what it is, yeah. bars. Nice. You know? And that's, uh, I seen there was a premiere date for that because yep. it is getting played at the Harbor yep. Cinema, definitely. right? Definitely, yep. So... What is the date on that, bro? Um, the 26th? 26th, 26th, I believe. Right? December 26th. Okay. The day after Christmas. Perfect but it won't be all the way done because you guys are going to film that. Right. Definitely. Is it free to get in? Anybody can go? Uh, or I how are you going to do so. that? I believe so. I believe so. I don't want to misquote it, but I believe so. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He charges five bucks a head, and then he pays for the studio time. <laughs> 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 Just fucking what you feel. But, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> All right, no, Chilla Patilla, man. I, I I really appreciate you coming over. Man, I appreciate Inspiring. you having me, man. You know, and, uh, it's always good waxing with say. you. Yep, for you sure, know. man. So, you know, catch you again, man. Yeah, you know? for sure. All right, man. So, nope. you guys, if you guys want to check out one of the last podcasts that I did, you'll see it on the screen here in just a second. And then with that, much love to you guys. Peace. <laughs>